After 17 years at KSHB, Elizabeth Alex is saying goodbye to our newsroom. Elizabeth is here with us this morning to talk about what she's focusing on with her post news career. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. So, what's next for you? Well, I'm working at CFCA, Christian mm -hmm. Foundation for Children and Aging. And I, I see myself as a storyteller always. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'll ever not tell stories. And what this organization does is uh, gives kids in and older people in mm -hmm. Uh, foreign countries, developing countries, a chance to get out of poverty. And they do that by one person here sponsoring one person there. And it's, it's a great, cool, cutting edge kind of way to do sponsorship that creates communities mm -hmm. and, and is a way that I think will be a model that will be implemented in this country eventually. And you'll continue storytelling. I love that. I will tell the stories of these people, yes. Okay, so what is uh, the most memorable story you've covered? In your time here, oh my gosh! I know it's hard. There have been <laughs> so many of them, but I think one of the hardest ones. Uh, well, there were two. Um, you, you may know that uh, my husband got sick. He got cancer mm -hmm. while I was here, and he died. And I didn't say anything about it till after he died. It was a year afterwards that I did mm -hmm. a story on esophageal cancer, and I think that probably is one of the most memorable ones, obviously, because it involved me and my family. Mm -hmm. And I still have people today tell me that because of that story, they have long-term acid reflux. Uh, they have gotten scoped and found it at a very early stage, which can be cured. So if you have wow. long-term acid reflux, even if your doctor mm. says, oh, don't worry about it, go get a scope, insist on it. So that was a really memorable one. And, you know, I still, um, I had so much great experience with uh, bringing children here from, uh, a little girl from the Gaza Strip I brought here mm. um, after a story that we did there. It was just following her, her little journey was amazing. Um, and you know some of the stories that I've done, just everyday people, everyday life stories. The the Nathan Style story was just a few years ago, or a couple of years ago, with the, the young man who died mm -hmm. on the football field. Um, his parents are just amazing, inspiring people and brave, and they made me braver for knowing them and being able to tell their story. Those people stay with you forever. They do. They'll never leave me. Those They'll never leave my heart. Stories are always yeah. part of your part mm -hmm. of you now, from for now sure. on. Um, in terms of people that really have made an impact on you, what about just the people that you've worked with? I know we we're talking. You're laughing about John Anthony, one of our <laughs> you know fantastic crew members. Well, there was one story that we had like there was like this singing contest, and these people like were the like a barbershop quartet or something mm -hmm. like that. They were like mm -hmm. on this in this national. Uh, contest and I guess he was just sort of having fun with it and he was like doing the Michael Jackson slide you know <laughs> to the music and somehow that clip got on the air that was very funny <laughs> um, what will you miss the most just I'll miss the people I'll miss yeah. the people who I work with every day I'll miss the the idea of being able to tell those stories every day mm -hmm. but I'm planning on still uh, doing some stories from time to time so I'll mm -hmm. still have that opportunity and I, I, I hope that works out well would not it be fun though to be home at six o'clock you know, eat, eat dinner at a normal time as it'll opposed to 7.30 or 8. This is what my, my 14 year old said. It'll take some adjustment for me. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone around you is adjusting to hey, you retiring my, from news they, business and going to a normal my job. My husband is like, okay, I'm going to put up with maybe one more day of crying. And then after that, <laughs> you got to move on. Is so. it bittersweet for you? It is. I mean, I've been doing this for so mm -hmm. long and it's such a part of my life. And yeah, yeah I, I go back and forth. I, I want to get through this day without crying, but I can't say that. I can't promise myself it'll really happen. How has the business changed since you did your first story? From the dark oh. ages? Oh my oh, gosh. Sorry. I remember um, carrying around this huge uh, three quarter inch tape deck. Mm -hmm. If anybody is in, in news, I started that with the deck and the camera. You're holding it and mm -hmm. you've got to carry and, and those big batteries. I left one in a courthouse <laughs> in Fort Smith, Arkansas one time and they brought in a bomb squad because I thought <gasps> maybe it was a bomb. Um, wow. So you creating from, a story right there. Yeah, from <laughs> that to, you know, to the smaller tapes, the smaller cameras and now, you know, editing online and all mm -hmm. the great digital things you can do. It's you know, it's fascinating, and, and we, we have so many great opportunities to get good stories on the air. And social media, mm -hmm. and everybody's out there is a reporter now, so it just makes it so much more stories. fun. Yeah. Well, we are so grateful to you and your service to the station here and the Kansas City area and the folks in Kansas City. We wanted to give you something a little special. Aww. Michael, come on in. <laughs> there you go. You. We love you, dear. Thank I love you, you so much. Oh, says, I, we, we love you, Casey. There you go. Thank well, you. we enjoy watching you and um, you sharing yourself with us and with Kansas City. And I know that you've got a lot of folks out there that just think the world of you. Oh, thank so. you so much. Thank you. You have, always been, you have always been one of my biggest cheerleaders, so I just want to I say thanks. I am your cheerleader. I, know. I, just, I, love, I love you, you so you, much. Your spirit is just makes my day whenever I see you. Oh, and well, and I'll mutual. still get to have my day made by watching you guys, too. Okay. All right. All right. We made you. it through without crying. Okay, okay. Made it through without crying. Okay. We'll be right back.